a one-on-one -on -one interview with the daughter of Cuban President Raul Castro. Our Hatzel Vela speaking with her about being a champion for gay rights, the future of U.S.-Cuba relations, and more. Hatzel is right there live in Havana with his exclusive. Hatzel. Lori Calvin, let's first talk about the May Day celebrations which took place this morning. As you know, these celebrations, these marches are highly popular all around the world. They're very significant here in Cuba, not just in Havana, but also Santiago and throughout the island. 7.30 this morning is when the march started. We did get a glimpse of President Raul Castro there with First Vice President Miguel Diaz-Canel. As I mentioned, started really early. The march, a massive sea of people taking to the streets of the Plaza de la Revolución well uh, planned out, well researched, well done, always the case here in Havana. If you think about this, this is also significant because Castro has said he will step down next year, which means this is likely his last march as president of Cuba. And this is the first march since uh, the country lost its leader, Fidel Castro. But something interesting happened. This second piece of video will show you that. A man ahead of the march, right before it started, started running ahead of the sea of people, waving an American flag. Quickly, you can see security agents there uh, dressed in plain clothing trying to tackle him down and he was eventually dragged away. These are well orchestrated events so to see this was kind of surprising. Switching gears here a little bit let's go back to that interview an exclusive interview with Mariela Castro the daughter of Raul Castro where she talks about uh, her political future she talks about her father and very candidly talks about U.S. relations but first she talks about her work on gay rights. Our interview was lengthy. Mariela Castro spoke openly about her political future, her father, the future of the socialist country, and human rights in Cuba. But we begin with the reason she agreed to sit down with us, the gay movement in Cuba, and the organization she leads. Que es Senesex? The setting is a classroom, and if you think about it, that's what Senesex is an organization that makes it a point to educate Cubans on sex, sexual orientation, gender identity, and much more. Mariela Castro has been the director since 2000. Our conversation starts with her relationship with the press, whom she calls allies. But then there's this recent incident where she felt accosted. Here's Mariela Castro, dodging a reporter who she feels was simply trying to bully her. She says Spanish authorities told her he wasn't a real journalist. An undesirable, she says, who she felt pity for later. Here on the island, this is the image Cubans see of Mariela, as most people call her. When it comes to gay rights, she's a rock star, and her profile tends to climb around this time of year. Pero si la defendemos. All of May, gay Cubans and their allies will celebrate the International Day Against Homophobia and Transphobia. Yo tu, tu miedo. She remembers the fear she felt walking the streets of Havana the first time 10 years ago when she and some transsexual friends celebrated the same event. The inquisitive looks, the disapproval, it's when she knew what it felt to be them. Something that stays with you, she says, and truly it dawned on her that no one should ever feel that way. Ten years later, ¿Te sientes bien por todo lo que ya Vamos avanzando y te sientes un poco triste por lo que falta todavía. She feels good about the advances they have made, sad over what's left to accomplish. In 2014, Mariela was the only member of the National Assembly to vote against a discrimination ban because it did not include protection based on gender identity. But Mariela has been criticized for not doing enough when it comes to gay marriage. It's a task they have undertaken for a long time, one that involves changing minds and becoming committed, she says. A heavy burden for the daughter of Raul Castro, who reminds us gay marriage can only come to Cuba if her father's government 
changes the constitution. ¿Que cómo va a haber derechos para los gays cuando no hay derechos humanos? Bueno. I asked her, how could there be gay rights when some argue Cuba doesn't respect human rights? We got an answer. We'll share that with you on part two of our exclusive interview. And at 11 o'clock, we also talked to her about her father, her political future, and most importantly, U.S.-Cuba relations, what she says to the exiles, which is really interesting. But for now, reporting live in Havana, Hatsovala, Local 10 News.